and I will go ahead and start. So basically the slideshow is just gonna be um, new things that are happening in winter term, like hours and just like when classes starts and things that we're offering. Um, and we're just here to answer any of your questions. So if you have any questions about what's going on in campus rec and winter term, like we're, we're here for that. So first of all, welcome back. Um, so our winter term hours might look a little different. Monday through Friday, we are open um, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 a.m., 3.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, we are closed. So I'm gonna let Nuno take it off from here. Thank you, Sophia. I'm uh, very excited uh, news besides the actual reopening of the rec center, but also be reopening the pool. Um, so yeah, they, there's a swim lane, a swim lane reservation so similar to a vacant reservation for uh, the rec center, uh, you now have to make a swim lane uh, reservation You're required to get uh, like access to the pool. And then uh, you can do this by like visiting our aquatics uh, webpage and has more detail about like, uh, uh, and, like expectations you're gonna have for using the pool after reopened. And then the, the spa will uh, stay closed until further notice. And a little bit more the pool hours. Um, so as you can see, well, uh, similar opening times as the uh, the rec center for the pool. Uh, it had like 50 minutes uh, time slots. As you can see here from Monday to Friday, and then um, they're a little bit around the, the Wednesday. And then I think what was mentioned yesterday during our info session is that uh, you are actually able to access the uh, locker rooms. It's important to bring your own lock if you want to use the, the lockers inside the locker rooms. Um, so that's one of the things that we also uh, offer besides uh, the use of the pool. And then of course you can also use the locker rooms in our hallway. Those are just like the digi lockers where you don't need to, have to bring your uh, lock. Um, yeah. Oh, yes, this is the, the locker part. And then the, <laughs> the locker rooms and the lockers. Um, so there's like the short term lockers that we have um, and they're um, just available there um, for swimmers to use while they're swimming shower. Um, and there's a the locker rooms and lockers. Uh, the locker rooms and lockers are closed um, just because of COVID and everything. So we have like those sectioned off um, in the gym. And then, yeah, the, what, like Nuno was saying with the digi lockers, they're very, very helpful because you can just like stick your stuff in quickly if you're like here for a short period of time. Or you can just have it throughout. Um, I mean, well, now it's weeks. You can't have it throughout the day here, so you have to just have it for the time slots. Um, your stuff in the digi lockers, but they're good to use. So, yeah. And then, yeah, for the climbing center, it is we're open. Yeah, for for that time frame, it's uh, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we're open for drop and bouldering during staff hours. There's no reservation required. Um, capacity is limited to like six people in there. And there's also going to be climbing staff in the um, climbing center that can help you out with any questions you have while you're climbing. First come, first serve. And then you do still have to have face masks. And yeah, remember just a physical distance while you're going around the gym. Yeah. Um, so for group X classes, um, there is one in person group X class per day, um, Monday through Thursday um, during the lunch hour of 12 to 1 p.m. or in the evening from 5 to 6 p.m. A faculty reservation is required and participants must also register for in-person classes through um, Group X Pro. Um, and Brittany might send you a link, but it's also on um, the campus rec webpage. Um, there are a maximum of nine participants per class and face masks are required at all times. Um, but if you can't make it to in-person classes, there are live on-demand virtual Group X classes that are also available to all PSU students, faculty, and staff. Um, so for personal training, um, so if you want in-person, um, in-person personal training, whoa, that's a weird one. Um, it's offered based on client preferences. Um, both the trainer and the client are required to wear face masks during the session, but you can also do virtual in-person for virtual not in-person training. Um, and that is just based off whatever preference you want. And real quick, I was just going to say, Emma is a, one of our personal trainers. She also works at the fitness center. Um, so Emma, I don't know if there's anything extra that we would want to share with folks um, or anything that, that you'd want to share, but 
just wanted to throw it out there just in case. Um, yeah, so everything they said, you kind of covered it all. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we're also doing virtual group training as well. Some personal trainers are offering that and that is also available on the website. Perfect. Thanks, Emma. I'll actually put a link to that too in case folks want to go check that out. And then, yeah, with drop-in sports. Um, so it's limited individual and one-on-one -on -one drop in sports in the gym. Um, and uh, you can do like basketball. There's, um, we have like, um, there's the pickleball that we were discussing earlier. That's actually pretty fun that I did actually a couple of years ago in high school, I think. Um, and this is pretty cool. You can play, um, there's like the table tennis, like in the photo here, it's up there. And then, so it's a 45 minute slot that you have to use um, those activities and do that stuff on the courts upstairs. And then there is, yeah, it, it, so it's individual basketball. And so you have to have, you know, you have one hoop, you know, per person as you go about it. And then for the items to bring, you just need to have your PSU ID card um, to get access. And you just, um, we check you at the front desk. Um, just remember to bring a face mask, water bottle if you want to hydrate, which is really good to have um, in the gym. And then, um, yeah, any equipment that you might want to have for your visit as well. Yes. Thank you, Jack and Sophia. Um, we got the last part of. Uh, any questions, um, see in the slides or any questions you might want to 